Hey everyone, welcome back to another Speed Simulator video. Now before we get into the main content of today, I just want to fix something up quickly from the last video. Now if you remember with our Cell GUI, whenever we're running and we hit uh, teleport, we'll actually fall over and kind of just glide across the floor on the pad. And it just wasn't very nice. So to fix this, um, I have found a fix. Uh, I've been playing around a bit and it's actually really easy. We just use have to use a method. So let's open up our cell GUI, our background, our exchange button, and our local script. And you'll see on line, for me it's line 16, this humanoid root part dot cframe equals game dot workspace dot island one buildings dot exchange building dot coin pad dot cframe blah 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 plus vector three dot new zero five zero. Now what this is, this is the line that's teleporting us, and it's actually making us fly across the floor. So to fix this, I'm just going to comment this out a minute, and underneath it, I'm going to add a new line. And in here, we're going to instead, we're going to say player dot character. So obviously the humanoid root part is a part of the character. Now what we were doing before was getting the C frame of the humanoid root part and setting it to the C frame of something else. What we can do instead is rather than dot uh, humanoid root part, we can just say dot um, move. Uh, no, actually colon move to. And now you'll see this is this function here. Moves the primary part to the given position. If the primary part has not been specified, the root part or not of the model will be used. So the primary part, I believe, of a character is always the humanoid root part, I believe. Or the lower torso. Anyway, we're going to do colon move to. And uh, in here, we are going to move to the position. So we want to move to game dot workspace dot island one buildings dot exchange building dot coin pad dot c frame so wherever your c frame is plus vector free dot, uh, dot new zero five zero for our offset now if we test this here let's hit uh play i did do a bit of playing around and changed my stamina and points just to test this a bit better so that's why i've got a thousand stamina just don't worry about that, I was just playing around. Now I'm just going to give myself loads of points. So if you don't know how to, um, by the way, just for reference, if you don't know how to change your points on the server, click where it says current client, uh, and then under players, find your player, other stats, and I'm going to set my points to 980 or something, and then uh, click current server back to the client. So now we've run exchange, and now let's just keep running. We click exchange, Unable to cast coordinates frame to vector three, so that's unfortunate. We have an error. Let's close the uh, game, stop the game, back into our script. It's telling us unable to cast coordinate frame to vector three. Now the coordinate frame, C frame, stands for coordinate frame. We need to convert this C frame to a vector three. So to do that, we do dot C frame dot P on the end. This dot P gets the vector three version of the coordinate frame essentially. So that dot P will make everything work. One letter will make everything work. You see now when we run, it should work anyway. We're running fast, we exchange points now, exchange, and we don't fall over, and it's perfect. So yeah, as you can see that's working, we don't fall over whenever we touch it now. So that's a good start. Anyway, let's get back into what we were actually going to be doing today. And what we are going to be doing today is making our stamina upgrade, so uh, you can basically get more stamina in the upgrade shop. So to do this, we're going to go into our leader stats and under our upgrade one, we're going to copy this entire thing, drop down a couple of lines and make this upgrade two. So this will be upgrade two level, upgrade two level, upgrade two level. What am I doing? There we go, upgrade two cost, upgrade two cost, upgrade two cost. Once again, upgrade two level, upgrade two cost. The default cost I'm going to set Two five hundred, maybe a thousand, maybe seven fifty. Now, as I say, you can play around your prices as you want. I'm not completely sure yet, but I'm just going getting a rough idea. Anyway, next we can open up our data store script. We're going to copy our local save value seven, paste that twice, so we've got save value eight and nine. Uh, player dot upgrades. Oh, I've got caps lock on, that's not helpful. Player.upgrades, player.upgrades, dot upgrade to level, dot upgrade to cost. Copy this, save value 89, 89 equals get saved 89. Save value 8.value, 
and say value nine dot value. There we go. Now you should know how to add your own values into the data store by now. What's this here? Uh, oh yes, yeah, so our if statement to make sure that everything's correct. So if save value, um, our level should be zero by default anyway. But the cost, if save value to cost dot value, not save value. Is that right? Save that was so our cost corresponds to save value nine. Sorry, if save value nine dot value equals zero, then we need to set it. Um, to equal our default amount, which is for me, it's 750. That's what my cost is. So we need to set this to 750, just to make sure if it's not saved properly and it's loaded as zero, we're going to set it back to its default. Next, we've got to go under here: player dot upgrades dot upgrade one uh, two level dot value player dot upgrades dot upgrade to cost dot value. Let me make sure it's in that level. Order the level cost, yep. Uh, and that's everything in there. Okay, next what we're going to do is open our upgrade shop. Um, shop image, we're going to set that to visible. Duplicate our, what's this scrolling frame here? We're going to add a new upgrade, which will be upgrade uh, two. If it will let me rename, upgrade two. And you'll notice that it's kind of overlapping. If it is, uh, just go into your UI list layout. Set the padding to maybe point zero six. Okay, let's just set it to point one. That'll do. And now it shouldn't be overlapping. Upgrade two. So the name will be um, uh, what will it be? Increase stamina. Upgrade stamina. Let's call it increase stamina. Uh, description. Um, we'll leave that because it changes in the script, of course. Uh, as for the name, yeah, we've just done that. So let's open up our text button and our fire event. And we're going to be firing upgrade to event, which we haven't yet made, but we'll make it in a minute. Now, as for the text, we've got uh, the basics here. So script, uh, the cost is going to be abbreviate numbers, uh, player dot upgrades dot upgrade to cost dot value, dot dot level upgrade to level dot value, like so. Okay, next I'm going to make our shop invisible and we're going to go under replicate storage, our upgrade events, duplicate that and get our upgrade to event. Next we're going to go into our event script under the workspace and where we've got our upgrade one event, we're going to not copy and paste it, but we're just going to drop down a couple of lines. Game.replicate storage dot upgrade events dot upgrade to event um, dot on server event colon connect function and of course we're passing in the player again we're always passing the player into the event script now in here we're going to once again check the price like we do up here so it's just going to be quite similar to this um, as in we're going to be checking the price increasing the cost and the level so let's start by checking the price so if um, player dot leader stats not lead stats I always do that um, no it is leader stats yeah I'm thinking of stamina now if player dot leader stats dot coins dot value is greater than or equal to player dot upgrades dot upgrade to cost dot value, then uh, that means we have enough so we can do player dot uh, leader stats dot coins dot value minus equals player dot upgrades dot upgrade to cost dot value because uh, we want to subtract of course the cost from our current coins. Next, we need to um, increase the cost. So, if we were to just, if we go up here, we're increasing about 1.35. So, once again, so what we'll do here, player dot upgrades dot upgrade one cost, uh, dot upgrade two cost, sorry, dot value times equals 1.35. Player, this is just a random. Um, float value that we're multiplying by it's a multiplier so this would essentially increase it by 35 percent each time you can make this whatever suitable for your game tweak your game to your liking next we'll say player dot upgrades dot upgrade to level dot value plus equals one okay now that's all our subtraction and stuff done now we need to um, set our stamina we need to increase our stamina so player dot stamina or in fact, player dot other um, other what was it other stats dot stamina dot value uh, plus um, let's just actually times equals 
no, let's say equals player dot upgrades dot upgrade to level dot value times that by 250. We'll wrap this multiplier in brackets and just add 250 on the end. So if we now hit test and play, uh, we're going to have, I'm going, mm, should be all right. Let me set my stamina back to its default value. Uh, other stats, stamina, back to 250 as it should be. If we run over to the uh, shop, say run over, look, hobble over. I don't want to sell at the minute. But if we now hit this, let me just exchange, there we go. So you'll see 500 coins, five, 750 coins, uh, zero. So if we now buy that, we got 500 points, 750, 1000, one point, there we go. And we can increase our max stamina. Now if we, because we're doing this, we should actually be able to go above 250. It shouldn't have just not capped it. Let's have a look. Should let us go to 3.8k. Of course, because we've got a lot of points now, we can go ridiculously fast. But anyway, when we hit our eventual, there we go, hit upgrade, we don't fall over, exchange flow, we don't touch it long after exchange, there we go. Um, and you'll see it's all working. Now let's close it, make sure it saves. And if it saves, we're all good. Let's hit play. And it has saved. Awesome. Let's make sure it's saved our upgrades. Hit this, and it has saved our upgrade values. Awesome. So everyone, that is it for this video. Everything's working as intended. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.